Hey everyone, welcome to Pipes Tobacco and Whiskey. So we just got back from the Texas Pipe Show, and uh, man, we just had a great time. Yeah, uh, uh, like always. Yeah, biggest show they've ever had, probably the best show they've had. Uh, great turnout, lots yeah. of vendors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, vendors that are well known. Yeah. I mean, people that, yeah, people that... Uh, typically have not come to the smaller shows like the Texas show. So yeah. we were really excited. Uh, what was what was your favorite thing about the show? Oh, I always enjoy the slow smoke at the end of it. Uh, but I, I would say that like when it came down to, I think this show in particular, I enjoyed seeing a lot of the really popular vendors. You know, Nate King Pipes, uh, Bill Walther, he always kind of shows up to the Texas one because he's local. But uh, we also had a smoking pipe show up. Uh, JD uh, from Country Squire showed up. Uh, the Peterson boys, you know, that man, it, it was just, I really enjoyed the show a lot. I think, I still think my favorite part is the slow smoke at the end of it. I just yeah. enjoy goofing off with it. Yeah, it was just a, you know, quality, quality show, quality vendors. I thought that all the, club presidents from texas you know usually it's uh the the houston pipe club the austin pipe club the north texas, texas pipe, pipe club, club. Mm -hmm. that kind of sponsor this and put it on and it's uh you know it's a, it's a it's a big undertaking to, yeah to do this and uh uh it was coordinated very well uh, thought it thought that like i said the vendors that were there were some really top-notch uh, people in the industry uh, lots of folks that came by and said hi to us. Lots of them, yeah. Watched the show. We really do appreciate that. You got to have a smoke with us. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it really means a lot to us to know that people are actually watching watching yeah. and, and, and value our opinion. You yeah. Know, <laughs> however, it, however it may come out. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, there, my favorite part of the show was probably uh, the first prize for the slow smoke which was a oh, collaborative yeah. pipe that the day before uh, all the pipe makers that were at the show went to Trey Rice's house, who is, of course, a local pipe maker mm -hmm. in Texas, and all sat down and worked on his pipe, on a pipe yeah. that became the first prize for the slow smoke. And it was gorgeous, it man. Was. And I, I know I'm gonna miss some carvers, you know, that that mm -hmm. uh, that um, were there working on it. But of course, there was Trey Rice and Jay Mouton, uh, Nate King was there, um, uh, Ryan McCauley from Smoke and Barrel, uh -huh. uh, Smoke and uh, Barrel Pipe, yeah. Yeah, Kevin Foster. I mean, there was just a bunch of guys that took time to uh, turn out this pipe, and it was a great really a great for uh, first prize yeah for the slow smoke I was nathan did great he got eight th out of 30 yeah. something eight so. out of 30 something yeah. yeah so uh at the end of the night they had a raffle uh all of the proceeds go to uh, uh of course helping out the show for next year but mm -hmm. but also uh it's an organization that james foster is is a part of that sends pipes and tobaccos to troops overseas so uh, absolute worthy cause yeah and yeah. Uh, had some really great prizes a lot of guys donated stuff for that um and first prize was a first six, prize in the raffle yeah was 650 dollar pipe from nate king yeah from nate king yeah, yeah. so really really uh good really stuff. good stuff for the, for that so it was a great show i had a great time um i wanted to give a shout out to one person in particular who came up and gave us gifts that's right yeah clint manning uh from cleburne texas made us these leather uh tobacco trays for us and uh we want to say thank you clint for coming and seeing us it was great to see you it's great to meet you uh i really appreciate you watching our show and talking to us about some of your favorite moments about the show and everything and i was really happy to uh share a bowl with you on a smoke and I, I want you to know that this is going to be something that we are going to really 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 enjoy now uh, he also made us this leather tray that uh, is held together uh, by fasteners it's an, a foldable leather tray but I will say this one's a little more rigid than uh, some of the other travel trays before but I actually kind of like that because I 
you know, the other ones were so flimsy and fall apart, but it's yeah. still loose enough to still, as he said, to be able to fold and dump back into the pipe jar. Yeah. I think this is one, a, a really good one to have at the house. Yes. You know, or that, because uh, those other lightweight ones uh, are really good travel mm -hmm. ones, but yeah. they're, like you said, they they don't hold its form very well. And, yeah. And, it, and um, it, this is just a, a, a more... A stiff, rigid piece of yeah. uh, uh, leather that really uh, is very, very uh, sturdy and very beautiful uh, yeah, work on very it beautiful too. Work, yeah. yeah. So thanks a lot, Clint. We really do appreciate you for for uh, giving these to us. Yeah. We, you know, we had our own table there that uh, we were able to set up, and we. I bet we brought what fifty jars or fifty or sixty jars of uh, yeah about fit yeah good tobacco good number of them we filled a full six by uh, six by three table yeah of tobacco and and <laughs> just laid them out there for everybody to come by and try and we had a lot of folks that yeah that we did. took advantage of that and we're we were happy of that too because uh man I don't I don't have any more space for tobacco yeah. at, at this house I'm gonna have to rent a <laughs> Uh, a, a storage unit. storage unit to be able to just store all the tobaccos that I have. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, got some pipes uh, there, and, and uh, I, I, I fulfilled two of my Texas uh, pipe makers. That, oh yeah, your bucket list. That yeah, because I yeah. want to make sure that I get a pipe from all the Texas. Every Texas. Pipe yeah, maker, and yeah. I got two of them while I was there. One from Ryan Alden. And uh, one from Bill Walther. So, yep. yeah, so we, that was great to get that taken uh, care of as well. Yep. All right. Well, uh, you got anything else you want to say about the show? Uh, no, I really had a great time. Um, I, I hope some of you guys, uh, maybe sometime in the future, if y'all can make it down to the uh, Texas Pipe Show, that's one that we know we can guarantee we always, always go to. So, now, uh, we skip hunting to go to that we one. We do. We do. <laughs> uh, and so I think there's also some other guys that we have traveled a ways away. There have been some guys that traveled from Georgia. Just yeah, I had come. a guy from jo Georgia. Uh, one from Washington. Uh, well, I mean, there was, was a, a fellow in the slow smoke that was from California. Yep, yep. So, I mean, it's it's... It's a great time, so I'd love to meet more of you guys if I can, uh, and sh sit down, share a bowl, maybe take a picture or two if you want. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we hope to see you at the next show. I think there's going to be uh, a kind of a smaller show, just like the Texas show, at Smitty's in Greenville, Georgia, in January sometime. Ooh, but that one's new then. Well, they had one. They had one this summer, and I think they're jumping the gun a little bit and maybe uh, setting up a, a, an earlier show. For, Trying not to get it so close to Chicago. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and the heat of, uh, you know, and all of that. So, yeah. uh, but, the, but uh, the big show that I, well, I say big show, but the next significant show uh, that I know of is going to be Mule Town in March. And mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that, that we can be there and see you guys again and share some stories yeah uh, it'll yeah. be it'll be nice yeah all right guys well thank you so much for watching thank you so much for coming out to and supporting the texas show yeah. uh yeah we hope to see you at the next one don't forget make all your piping moments count we'll see you next time have a great week thank you guys bye bye so hey guys nathan here with uh pipes back on whiskey at the texas pipe show 2023 we're here with J.D. Cole, hey, John David Cole. What's up? Yeah. How you doing, brother? Good, good. How are good, you? Good, I'm good. Have you had a good show? I have. How about you? Good. We're doing great. Yeah, you were full earlier, and now you're a little bit slimming we're out. We're blowing it out, man. Shoot, I've sold more tobacco at the Texas Pipe Show than I did in Chicago. Yeah. I, really, I really have. It's, yeah. been, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, we've had a good turnout so far. Yeah. Good turnout. So, hey. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the tobacco that you made for the slow smoke this afternoon. Yeah, so um, actually I have some tasting notes I wrote down. Oh, yes. Because it's a little complicated. Um, so we made that blend for the um, uh, United Pipe Clubs of America, the UPCA. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. They have their slow smoke every year in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, they asked us to do the blend for that. And so when we came down here, they asked us to bring the same blend for, for that. the slow smoke. So yep. It's the exact same one that was in Chicago. Yep. Um, it was actually blended by Quinn Crawford, who works for me. I did not blend it. Oh, okay. Be sure to follow him online. He's at Magnolia Piper. Ma but Magnolia Piper? Magnolia Piper. Quinn does a great job. But uh, anyway, he says, uh, Red Virginia's, Burley, a dash of Stove Virginia's, 
and um, it has the way we process it. It has just a little bit of sourness to it to kind of make it interesting. It reminds you of some of those old McClellan blends that yeah. used to be so yeah. good. Yeah, um, so it's just a real. It's just kind of a symphony of, of those notes. All so, right. Anyway, hope y'all enjoy it. Oh yeah, we're looking forward yeah. to it. Man, are you participating? No, not at all. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll provide the tobacco, but I'm not doing a slow smoke. All right. Well, all right. Well, thank you for your time, dude, it's man. It's my treat. Yeah. Y'all yeah. have a great show. You too, man. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Guys, we're at the Texas Pipe Show 2023 inside of Tobacco Cabana, where we've had it for how long? 12 years. 12 years. 12 years. It's been a great and great little place. <laughs> There's Dad. <laughs>
So this is uh, Nathan with Pipes Tobacco and Whiskey out here at the Texas Pipe Show in 2023. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself for the camera? Hey, Bo York. I'm just some guy at a pipe show, and it is uh, <laughs> it is pretty amazing out here. I used to do a little show called Country Squire Radio. People seem to enjoy it. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's good to have you down here, man. Absolutely. So, so what are you working on uh, these days? Man, we're working on a, an immersive theater project in uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, actually, cool. there's a lot of information that we'll be putting out over it over the next couple of weeks. Uh, encourage people to check out. I've got a podcast now called Risky Business with Bo York. Uh, you can find it at Spotify, uh, iTunes, wherever you get your podcast, that sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if you want to keep up with those type of projects, that's the place to do it. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Bo. You enjoying yourself? Man, I am having a blast. It is the first ever pipe show I have been to as a civilian. And it <laughs> yeah. has been... Outside of holding a stand yourself, huh? Exactly. Yeah. And it has been uh, it has been so much more relaxing. And the great thing is, so many people told me, like, you got to come to the pipe show now that, you know, now that you're not doing the podcast anymore. Yeah, Experience absolutely. it without any of the pressure. Like, man, this is... This much is different, really nice. Yeah, 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 I can actually much. like enjoy my pipe, walk around, and uh, and get to meet some folks. So it's been it's been wonderful. Well, good. I'm good. glad to see you, Bo. I'm good, King man. Absolutely, Thank brother. You, sir. Thank you. Likewise.